Since the beginning of the world, the human race was very interested in flowers and plants. Plants are not only an important food source, but ancient people used plants and flowers as a medicine and for industrial use. But what about the importance of plants and flowers in the history of visual art? Drawing or painting plants and flowers were a major focus for many artists, from cave art to our modern arts. But why ancient people were very interested in using plants in their paintings? Symbolism is the key to understand the importance of plants in paintings and visual arts. Plants play important roles, symbolizing themes such as fertility, growth, purity, and rebirth. Today I'm inviting you to join me in discovering the beauty of Narcissus flowers, merging together with the great history of art. Narcissus is a very beautiful flower, but also Narcissus is the origin of the term Narcissism. In Greek mythology, Narcissus was a hunter who was known for his beauty. He was the son of the river god Cephasus, and one day he was told by a fortune teller that he will live a very long lasting life under one condition. He should not see himself. But one day he saw his face reflection in the water, and it was so beautiful. He couldn't leave the beauty of his reflection. He admired himself. He stared at his own reflection until he fell in the water. He died and turned to a rose, named after him, Narcissus. The story of Narcissus was captured by the great master painter Caravaggio in his painting Narcissus. It was painted around 1598 and now you can see it in the National Gallery of Ancient Art in Rome. In art history, Narcissus symbolizes rebirth and new beginnings. The Narcissus is virtually synonymous with spring. I will share with you two examples of paintings that featured Narcissus as a subject of an artwork. Metamorphosis of Narcissus by Salvador Dali and another painting by Mario Nuzzi. Let's start with Dali's painting. This painting is oil on canvas painted in 1937. It's a medium-sized painting and it's now located in Tate Modern Gallery in London. The painting is also inspired from the Greek mythology of Narcissus. It visualizes the story of Narcissus from a surrealistic point of view. On the left side we can see the crouching body of Narcissus above the water. And on the right side, we can see the birth of Narcissus as a flower. As we said before, Narcissus always symbolizes rebirth and new beginnings. And it's always connected with spring. And that's what we can see in this part and in the April sky above. The visual analysis of the painting is interesting, as Dali used almost all the art principles in the painting such as contrast, repetition, balance, movement and unity. Narcissus are classified into 13 main divisions. Each division contains many lower classification types of Narcissus. In the next painting example we can see more than one type of Narcissus. This is a painting from the 17th century for Mario Nuzzi. Mario Nuzzi is an Italian painter who was born in Rome. 
He was among the first Italians specializing in still life painting of flower arrangements. In the painting, we can spot three types of Narcissus, Papyracius, Dazetta, and Asonus. In the bronze vase below, we can notice a war scene. From my personal point of view, and from our previous experience, we believe that this is not a coincidence. We believe that Nudzi arranged the war vase with the Narcissus flowers for a purpose. As we said before, Narcissus symbolizes rebirth, and as we know, after every war, always there's a new beginning. This is the beauty of art, and this is exactly what inspired me today to talk about Narcissus. Salvador Dali and Mario Nuzzi knew it before us, and they passed it to us as hidden messages in their paintings, rebirth and new beginnings. Whatever we are passing through today as a human race, Whatever we are experiencing, whatever we are feeling, I know sometimes things get so hard in life, things we can't control, things we didn't choose. But let's just always remember that at the end there's light, there's hope and there's love. Let's always remember, with every sunrise, there's always a new beginning. Yeah.